this is a weird setup because I don't have any monitor that support the HDMI cable so I guess we just stuck this this is a 40 inch sharp TV that I got for four years ago I know idea how much it cost but it's cheap lap much cheaper than the those back in the day so and I have a setup right here for my Acer to test with the HDMI cable also the fan right here so plugged here and I have my brother on chat right now so let's see first let me turn the TV on Yeah, I'm chatting with my, this is my mom's iPad, by the way. Because the HDMI is not um, long enough for the or putting it, so I have to put it in a weird way. Yeah, pretty bad, I would say, but it's saying no signal on the LCD, so that should be good. Fire is up. Will it work? Okay, it did, it did have signal. It did have signal, as you can see. Store it to Windows. That means this computer actually will be useful if the LCD wasn't broken. I just have to get a shot for my It's not, it's quite, it was on a load for quite a while Well Yeah, I haven't used an Apple product for years now, so I'm kind of rusted. Oh, that's new. Now I have to ask he, her, him for the password. It's actually fully functional. I sent him the photo right here. And we'll say, does the keyboard respond? Yeah, it does. Uh, but however, this the only uh, does this LCD work? No. Let's see. Enter. And I'm not, I will ask my brother the password because why it doesn't fully work in MC. I wonder what that means. Manchester United CD. Hold on, let me put in the password. And Chester CT? No idea. That's incorrect. Reset. I'm putting it to uh, damn it. So I have no idea how to reset the password because I don't have a official Windows 10 DVD or at least right now. So for now you can just go and enjoy this. Uh it's quite rusty right here. But let me try to turn on with app while I have my Bluetooth speaker right here. See me did my brother reply no. Okay. Okay, we got it to the BIOS. So you can see the CPU here is uh, Core i3, 
this is generation 2365 uh, 1 gigs of RAM, gigs of, you heard of CPU speed what's the mean? oh I just realized this button's broken this button right here is broken and it's pretty accurate it's, I think Um. Then did my brother surprise us? And now it have four gigs of RAM. RAM, as you can probably see, the LCD here is dead. Yeah, there's no way to fix it. I have no idea how to do it. Mm, let's see. Can I boot the other? Uh, boot. Uh, the. So apparently this this button is weird is broken. Oh, it's F twelve. Okay. So a force start should work. Maybe it's F twelve. Let me get a Windows 7. Now, I found the DVD right here is a 16-4-bit. Now, I have no idea how what I'm going to do to put the DVD in to make sure that the player work. So, I have no idea what to do. I mean, I can do this. Because I don't have any um, secondary camera I can do properly. So now the Windows 10, this is so sad that we try to read it from the DVD to see if it ever read. Well, to be fair, it does will boot from DVD and CD. I think, oh uh, yeah. This does not age well. So what I'm gonna do, I try to um, boot recovery. Okay. We need to do this side because uh, my, apparently my brother forced me to do those up, but whew, I don't know how, I don't have any um, um, mouse around here. So I guess you're going to start with this. Uh, I want to go up. Uh, that a bit. Um, no. Um, there is one option to go back to the previous build, which can you even reset the password with this thing? Uh. Hmm. I don't have. Let me find any um, password reset. Oh, this, you're not going to see that. And let me stop the recording on this one for a bit. The password reset was a success. I'm so happy to look up the top password website side because I've never done, been in a similar situation before. So, what I want to do, I can do it with. Yeah, with this computer on this side, um, so please, no, no, no. Let's just pretend I force shut down and then turn it back on. Mm. It's saying no signal, so I gotta wait for a while for the computer to boot up. This is my mom's iPad. Um, I just got it here because 
why not? Let's turn it back on and make sure it's in F12, F12 rest. This LCD need to be replaced. And I might use this as my um, um, new computer uh, as soon as I replace the RAM, the hard drive, and I put the SSD and replace it. I pretty, pretty much need to replace everything. The screen that need to be fixed. Or might as well buy a new laptop. Fun, I guess. HP sucks because my mom and my brother bought HP and it just broke down. And I came up with an idea to, um, in case you, you don't know, here's how the HP look like. After taking it apart, it was fried entirely. It wasn't HP. And I didn't connect well, mess my messenger to my brother because apparently we are not friends. But yeah, who cares? Now that this thing is loading up, let's hope for the best. This safe piece went right there. That's right. And I saved the password to 1234. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I could not. That's that's my brother's name, name. I have no idea what I am going to do. So, would would it be nice to reset the password using this um, the DVD that I just pop in? Uh, reset. Remove or please connect and let's try again. <sighs> mm. Um, um, win X, that's it. No. So I have no idea how I'm going to fix the frog room. Uh, because the username is this. So what? Whatever. No, it's not a crazy error video, by the way. Oh, it's quick access is down here. So I just figure out what to do off camera for now this time. I need a terabyte. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Apparently they don't sold any one terabyte. Oh yeah, there is. This one right here. It's about 20 million. It's quite expensive. Oh. See, does it? Well, is there any uh, one terabyte SSD? Um, or more? Um, no, they don't seem to. But cheapest one is ninety million or oh, eighteen. This one has Ryzen. This one is yeah. I will say um, see advance. Um, uh, repair option. So I just made a restart. Command prompt. Uh, promise. Yeah, it require password. So this is not going to work great you know what I think the battery this one's not it's not going to charge I think the battery is broken so yeah I would do a reset all over again so this is what I'm going I'm looking for for laptop at that hey guys so this right here is my old Acer S5B5471 we bought 8 years ago 
Core i3, um, the second gen, um, 4 gigs of RAM and uh, 500 gigs of hard drive. It's running Windows 10, but it have is password lock. So what I'm going to do? Well, I have these scattered around, so I wonder what will happen. We'll put all these um, CD in. These are old Windows. Uh, I use what well, I knew that I put Windows XP this, and when I try to load file, it crash. So I don't know what will happen. It will put older system than XP to do that. So it works with Windows 7. I don't have any Vista this. I put on XP this back in the day and it blue screen. So I'm gonna try it. Now this one has broken LCD. So I plug it to my family's own TV. Then the battery, this one is just broken down. So here's a charger solution. I put fresh as well. Yeah, the screen is not really healthy, as you can see. This is what's supposed to be, and there's okay. We got it. Now, I have to do it because I don't want to. I can do it without with two hands. Let's try Windows 95 first. Oh, this is weird. The entire desk case came out. Didn't know that. And as you can see, I will put the 95 desk inside and pop this thing back in. Okay, it should be good, otherwise that would be screw. Watch it will try attempting to uh, load Windows 95 on this old thing. Starting Windows 95. Let me if I fix this. I haven't used this thing for a while. Oh, I just realized that this CD having just did have some issues. Um, how to fix the screen to make it um, fit menu? Um, It's quite crap. There's no defecate. Oh, you have to return it. Um, okay, that's more like it. Now, let's put on the Windows 98 SE disk because the 95 disk is corrupted and I know that it did load 98. Let me try to do it. I mean, I've seen this computer just blue screen installing Windows 90, Windows XP, so I wonder what will happen if I put a... Nah. There's no reset button, so I have to force shut down before turning back on. Okay, now the LCD is dead. Completely. Okay, should be loading. There. I think the LCD, this, this LCD actually broke for real this time. Let's try to load Windows 98 on this thing, which is put on the CD ROM. Can we, can, can this thing load Windows 98 and install the way? <sighs> because this is what I'm trying to meet. Uh, the so setup file is not found. Oh well, but I still have some spare USB, so I will try Windows 2000 then. It's just pretend I say nothing, but at least these did load.
And I don't have any, any XD this. I think we gotta find out later. Control O delete. It will restart the entire system. So press F12. Oh no no, this is not. So as you can see, the screen was originally having problem with the it's in GPU, it broke down and now it won't display anything at all. And it miracle came back to life for no reason. Okay. Let's see what it read. I'll put the X this back in it read 10 it read x it read everything why would load windows um xp inter installation loading setup is loading file it just crash so what i did is press any key to move from cd it should load <laughs> Let me check out some of them. Mm. Okay. Send a message to my friend. So it should be saying loading files. And it is taking forever since this is 2000 and it's loading. Wait. I'm surprised that this actually fit the. Uh, 40 inch LCD TV like this because the reason why I was attempting to fix it was because I should need a new PC um next month because I'm because I'm moving to Saigon so I need to buy a laptop for my university and I hear it was came, came with it's my old laptop I won't try to revive it from the dead so I would attempt to install Windows 2000 <sighs> just kidding this is just a, just a test we will still get Windows um, um, 10 on it now one problem it one problem when we try to install XP is it wouldn't really when it say setup is starting Windows for a while it just crashed the blue screen that's what happened as far as I never uh, yeah I, I need to chat with a friend so so see you guys later it has been like 10 minutes or so and this is still stuck on this thing green I have no idea what to do next because I think the OS is not compatible with this thing. I mean, XP couldn't load uh, just blue screen and this thing just stuck on this screen forever. So, that's a fail. Thanks for watching. What is going on, YouTube? My name is Mayo Fanboy, and it's been a while since I made a computer video. And now I decided to do it again. So first of all, this particular machine is an Acer Aspire V5471. It is a 2013 laptop that I got for $500. Um, this one had a bad battery, so I haven't opened this back yet. It had a Core i3, I think it's a second gen. And the display, this one, this display does not work, so I had to plug it into this shaft tv because it is the only hdmi thing that has, is around my house that can connect hdmi so what i have here because it is 
a USB which contained um, what's so called uh, MS DOS and Win9598 as well as this and Soho mouse that I unplugged from a old um, desktop computer that we don't net really, really use and inside this one video I put a Windows 95 disk the reason why I put it is because I'm attempting to install older operating system onto this damn thing and without further ado that's because I do have to do it like this because the HDMI cable is not long enough so whatever let's get things started first of all let's go to the BIOS You see that screen is really in poor, poorer, I believe, condition. There we go. It finally load. Here's the specs. In case you don't know, it's a Core i3, um, two three six five, one point four gigahertz. It have how many gigs of RAM? Oh. It's kind of something I kind of mess up a bit, but mm. it have four gigs of RAM and the hard drive now is a uh, a five hundred gigs. So now, what I'm going to do is restart the PC. Um, and put into F twelve. Okay. The screen is in this bad condition, as you can see. And as you can see, we have four type of boot menu. So we have a DVD, which have Windows 95, HDD, network boot, and USB. So what I'm going to do is boot up HD to see the problem that the damn thing is having. It has Windows 10 on it. However, one problem is I put a block the mouse to make sure that work because this trackpad just simply stopped working for no reason. And also the battery, this one's dead. It no longer charge. Everything is broken on this one. I'm quite surprised that it actually still show this like that. The screen actually already does not even show anything, just nothing. And as you can see, this checking no. So I will attempt to install 95 on this PC. I know I attempt Windows I will install 95, 98, 2000, XP. I'm not install Vista because they suck. And 7 and 8 and then 10. And eventually I will make this computer a Windows 11 computer if, if that ever come out. But let's wait for the loading screen. As you can see, the mouse register, which uh, which is really unlikely and you can see it is stuck with the password and I have no idea what is the password so I just press one two three four and it's incorrect I tried everything but nothing works so oh well I asked my brother and he said that he already um, um transfers his hard drive to his new HP which is just broken down and he already have copy everything so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to install Windows 95 on this thing. Try, I mean, try to. And let's see will it be uh, um, worth it or not. Let's restart this damn thing and put into F12. Um, there will be two options. The first option to use USB to use a CD, and the second was to use the. In fact, what I'm going to do is install using MS DOS. Let's install MS DOS first. Mm, the screen is in this bad condition and I have Kingston USB right here it should be loading or not uh no you're not loading to, to Windows so apparently the USB is not registered so you know what I want to do Hmm, no idea what happened.
Okay. Okay, now let's boot off face the CD himself. Uh, I need to set this to set TV to this mode. As you can see, the this is not working, so I want to try and press um, the F key on this thing. Um, C. A. Um, set up. Um, let's see. I don't know yet because I don't have any password. F this. Does F this even work with this thing? I have no idea. Yeah, it will work. So, you know what I'm going to do? To do? Um, I intend to create DOS partition to make it um, and yeah I'm hitting enter uh, press S to continue Okay, so I think the Windows is this. I think I wiped the hard drive, that's for sure. And that's a good thing because he already copied all of his files into other computers, his other HP. Let me boot off from the USB. I think let's see I think the hard drive just wipe or something yeah it's wipe I actually wiped the hard drive 500 gigs and I'm quite proud of it because yeah will it boot up all the way no it's a missing operating system and it won't loot, read the disk but who cares because this computer sucks I actually want to see if this will ever reload Windows 95 setup because this USB is non bootable. I have no way to access it, so and I don't know. I only have a CD up to um, 95. I think that this is broken. Yeah, yeah, the this is broken. So, well, 95 is not able to install, so let's move on. I have uh, 2098. This is the second edition. I burned this, these this um, many, many years ago, and it sends. So, I'm going to put the camera down here so that you can see how the disk um, eject. Okay, so far so good. So it actually, um, I put the 95 disk. I think this disk is broken and in the beginning to, to begin with, but oh well. Control all delete to restart. So apparently, wiping the hard drive, meaning that. So let's load from a tapi um, CD slash DVD. It say boot from hard disk or CD ROM. I would say CD ROM.
That's strange. This is okay. Um, this window's not yet set up. I will not file. Damn. Um. Um. So it is D file. So, so let's see. Setup. Um. I'm not already. Huh. You know what I'm going to do? Um, I would write ninety-eight CD. Uh, in fact, I will install MS DOS first. I mean, it can load to MS DOS and can still accept that. And uh, let's see. Um. Sad to do this, so apparently I have to put the camera down to you know to um, type the correct file. Hmm, I have no idea how to um, turn my camera. So let's say let's just say the A drive. You know what I'm going to do? Um, it's having some problems. It's still trying to load from USB. I mean, Windows 98 does support USB. Okay. So that should be loading. In fact, um, yeah, that's ninety-five. So you have an option to boot from CD-ROM. Um, Okay, it has reload. Let's put the D drive. Um, CD, um, MS, DOS. And see, setup. Well, I agree. D This is weird. Um hold on a second. You know what? I will try to try again. And th does this thing does this thing support mouse? Um, no. Yes. Ah, oh, this is. Yes. Um. Mm. Okay. So let's run the setup again from this thing.
Oh no. It has to be no. We need the this trap. Uh, hold on a second, and we'll try to figure this out. Well, this is disappointing. Couldn't get the that to load, but um, no. Yes. Uh, let's see. F was it? Um, e. Now I know idea what to do now. Uh, the C drive. I think the C drive is empty. Um. Okay, so I think Windows 98 just does not want to um, do a setup. Let's just press Ctrl Alt Delete. See the screen is just. Uh, I will still boot from 98 because I still need. Um, I wonder if 98 will ever load. I mean, oh, the LCD, this one just died. This, this LCD just died. Um, oh, we have more problem here. Uh, let's see, does this read the D CD? Um, Uh, let's see. Um, does this one have um X? Was X this um D? D was a USB anyway. D was a USB. So ninety eight wouldn't install. Great. Now let's move on to two thousand. Before that, I will put it down a little bit and um. Oh, this is kind of dangerous doing it with the TV still plug. That maybe works. So let's press Ctrl Alt Delete. It should say missing operating system for now. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let's move from the CD. Press any key to boot from CD. I want to press F5 because I want told to do that. Oh boy, this is taking forever to load the file. So this is just wait for that to happen while it's loading the files. Okay, it made it here. Let's just stay instead of PC. Oh no no. I mean, I think I may have screwed this startup this bad, so let's just restart it and boot it off the boot again. And this time, make sure it does re say um, standard PC. Okay, we need to here. This time, make sure it does. Can it load as press as five? Okay, press F five. Should load the um, standard PC um, setting. There we go. Okay. Now it is going to be load because I was told to state that this PC was a normal um standard PC because if we load multi core it will crash immediately. So well, yes, we're just stuck in here here waiting for a few more minutes. So yeah. 
Wow, this is unexpected. Yes, blue screen at that. Well, let's move on to XP because this kid couldn't handle Windows 7. I mean, yesterday I started to, um, and just stuck on this window setup is starting Windows 2000. So, I just unplug it and call it. I didn't think I want to call it date. Okay, let's pull it. Let's, uh, well now let's plug this thing. It's just, let's install Windows XP on this one to see if that will ever happen. Because last time I installed XP, it just blue screen, it just screen. So, now, let's move on to XP. But first, F12, and I... Okay, I pull, plug the XP this in. I just put it in, and now let's put off from the CD slash DVD. Now, this camera is kind of out of focus. Let's wait for the windows to load completely. So yeah, let's, let's wait for that. Will this even load to the starting windows say, or will, will screen blue screen again? It says starting windows, but I have no idea when it will lead to. Yeah, yeah, expect it. Well, XP is not compatible with Core i3 machines because it's somewhat too powerful so what i got here is a 64-bit on windows 7 disk so screw you old operating system um this thing runs 7 but it is ultimate i look i have no idea if it can handle um home premium because this is the only iso i got also got a windows 8 disk but i think this this is busted and the windows 7 64-bit that is the old build so let's put in the windows 7 disk Put it in. So now, Ctrl O, delete. Oh, you have to restart this. It. Um. So. Now let's boot off the DVD to see if it can load Windows 7 setup because I have installed Windows 7 like three times now on this PC particularly and if the damn thing doesn't work then I just end up putting Windows 10 on it because why not I mean I don't have enough um, USB and patience to install these operating system so this these the 9598 just won't load the setup. 2000 load the setup, but blue screen, same with XP. I tried XP and it did the same with the XP Pro and XP Home. I have no idea why, but this Core i3 machine just refused to install. Um, I have no idea about Vista, but I think it might. But I don't have any Vista this handy right now, so I'm just ending up putting 7 on it. And then I will try Windows 8 and then 10. And I still have one um, seal. DVD are this that I will put Windows 11 on it. We are getting business. Or said, oh yeah, starting Windows. This is good. I mean, yeah, it does load Windows 10 this, but not Windows. But I have no idea if Windows 7 ever load. Um, yeah, it will load. That means XP just sucks on this particular machines. See, language in so it's always English time and currency format. It has to be Vietnamese because oh, this this is no, 
No, I want Vietnam. Why? It just. Oh, there we go. See, um, Vietnamese for this one. Next, install now. This okay. So you sign it up, install Windows Seven on it. I mean, I try XP, but it just blue screen. I just just try XP, just blue screen, and two thousand blue screen. I don't have Vista this because I think once I install Vista and it just wouldn't read and for no reason. I mean, this machine just too new for XP or two thousand, and maybe even Vista though. Uh, here, Seth. Um, no. So there's apparently um four drives. So, um, um, we are coming to a new problem, guys. Uh, let's format all of them because why not? I am, so what I did is just attempt to pull my old operating system. Hold the um, that's a D this and this is Okay. After so let's see why. Um Ensure that the disk controllers and they will um need the BIOS. God damn it. For shutdown. I should block the thing for that. This time make sure it loads to the setup and Go to the BIOS at least. And well, sorry for that. Should be in IDE mode for that. I may need to put, I may need to um remove the hard drive, putting on the operating system because I think I break the hard drive. I mean I break the hard drive. So if that fail, I would install eight window eight for the lows and then Windows ten. So it takes time to load. All right, guys, I've been like one or two restart later and it is still technically loading the setup and it hadn't is kind of complete for now so I will go ahead and install some driver and download some driver into this um, USB hmm. let me look up online this is my main PC by the way
or when you're sad. Let's see if, if that seven is an ultimate or something like that. It's a home premium, so I would say the CD was pretty accurate. Let me take the thing out. See what it is. It is a 64 bit. So. I'm gonna do, go ahead and download the driver. This is a 64 bit. Uh, we have all the driver. We have graphics driver. Um, we have these two right here, and we download both of them. Um, 84, There's also the audio driver that is also need to be it's a We have system is chipset driver. Uh, oh. There's also this one which is a Bluetooth device. There's a hard drive, hard disk, um, and USB. It should be there. Um, I will go ahead and and cop all these top Okay, it does seem to be all of them, so let me go ahead and cut the files, move into the Kingston and um, new file order, let's call it drivers. Let's copy, it is about nearly 1 gigs. This is taking forever. Welcome back to Windows 7 Home Premium. It's now set, so let's set it up, shall we? Name.
Wow, I couldn't come up with all the better name for this. No. Hmm. Let me look up online to see if they installed uh, any um, Windows 7 um, Home Premium 64 bit key to put in. Let's just wait for a few minutes. Oh boy, this is getting working. Yeah, this is accurate. It's finalizing. And my own my driver is already here, so let me install all of them. It is home premium, so what do you expect? Should they all you be? That should be fine. Ah, the battery is broken and there's no internet. Oh, it. Okay, so I think. Yeah, I put in the USB cable, so that should be working. But first, let me see if... Uh, no, the error does not work. How about the screen's resolution? Hmm, high is 1090. Yeah, let's apply that. Oof. This actually just fits the, this type of monitor. This is the birth. Anyway, let's install some driver. Um, continue without scanning. First, this is the graphics cards. I will install some of the drivers. And actually, uh, download all the drivers for the entire PC itself. It's now loading Windows. Well, it's kind of really glitchy also. Oh, yeah. I think the audio. First driver just fell. Uh, let's see, um, because this thing doesn't have any audio, I just, so here. One try only. <laughs>
now the damn the entire thing is completely functional. Okay. So, yeah, so for well, today I will install Windows 10 because it's not going to be quite fuzzy and we'll see if Windows 8 and Windows 10 can run on this PC because for now we'll just, it's going to stay at 7 like this. Yeah, this PC, yes. Um, okay, that's good, um, that's, I might as well. What I have to do is to start the computer now. It's a whole premium, it's kind of pointless, but who cares? There goes the audio, it finally worked. Now let's see what driver do I need to install next. Alright, we'll let this thing sit for like one hour I think. Then to install Windows 10. So I will see you when we return with Windows 10. Okay, so now it is loading to Windows 10 for real this time because, yeah, it's only like 15 minutes and it's already done. Fast install. Those installation is working. This definitely lo doesn't look good. I mean, it was loading while updating and it just shut up. Um, it's actually loading. This is uh, update. It's a temp to. Re oh God. Okay. Okay. This is not good. Apparently, because um, there's a problem with Windows. It's trying to restore 
your favorite version of Windows. <sighs> More work to do. Well, unfortunately, um, Windows 10 just refused to operate from this thing, so it looks like we have to um, do a fresh installation from here. <sighs> More work to do. But at least it's way better than nothing. I mean, this machine wasn't meant for Windows 7 or Windows 10, it was meant for Windows 8. Then you can see. You know what? Screw it. Let me uh, go back to Windows. Alright, guys, it is the next day, so I changed the sound a little bit. Um, I almost managed to pull the HDMI out of this thing because it was already plugged into this and make it here. So now, I'm going to connect the mouse and I actually did reinstall the. Um, I did uh, put another type of driver this time downloaded from the official Acer site, not the unofficial site. So it should be working. And I'm not upgrading to Windows 10 just yet. I just want to install some of the needed driver for Windows 7 first. Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot to thing but I need to fix the screen because it was wasn't fit technical did not fit and I had a remote right here here okay no 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 you're not putting to Windows well technically let's do something first Unplug the. I actually unplug the. Um, put the. So I actually uh, have to inject this first because it will boot to Windows um, 10 setup, which I don't want for now. And what I did just there is install a home premium Windows 7. Oh, new problem. The resolution is changed. <clears throat> this is a bad sign so far. But since we are installing new driver, that wouldn't be as much of the damage. <clears throat> I mean, I have no idea what just happened because I just unplugged it and this is what happened. The projector just simply switched back to the really terrible um, aspect ratio okay fine yeah I said my username to have to rate me because why not to oh um, so let's install some of the drivers um we have a bunch of driver to install. First, let's install this NDVA um, driver. <clears throat> we encounter a new problem. I have no idea what this did that, but let's see. Um, can we get the internet to work at least? Um, Windows 7. Well, I have no idea what to do next. Oh, damn it. It's saying the news folder too, but it is not going to open any of the new driver. <sighs> this is not good so far. But anyway, I have a this something called um, this thing right here. 
I will try to install that. This is a 64 bit, so. CD and the battery. This one, I want to get the internet working and perhaps some of the driver because I want error. Oh, new problems. Well, I download the correct system for this, but it just simply reinstall using recommended setting. Can it be working? Okay, now it's working or not. Let's see, um, is there another, um, it is driver only, um, it's so CD, I wonder, okay, got the setup. Um, since I am Vietnam, oh no, there's no Vietnamese option. This is a wireless LAN and Bluetooth silent installation program. So I should be able to get the internet working on this thing. Who asked you? And that's our internet right here. It is sponsored by APT. It is TP Link, by the way. Um, there is some messages here, but well, we are not bothered with that. Also, the time is wrong for this one. Um, okay. Next, I accept. Then after that, I will get uh, some of the driver work and we can install Windows 10 because I want Windows 10 to look new look new as possible because apparently yesterday I wanted to try to use Windows XP on I mean Windows 8 on this thing it wouldn't install so Windows 10 that is and if if Windows 11 ever come up in the next few days I will install that into the Laptop is so because I want to try Windows 11 because I don't want to try on my main computer. I don't want to break, break it because my computer is really full, in, even though it's one terabyte of hard drive. But eh. Hmm. Whatever work again <sighs> this is quite hard but um, you know what this uh, when you install Windows 8 this is the original order that is the original order to be used them that came with it and it might automatically um, I think um, to receive um, driver and detect it but I don't think this but okay fry circle several seconds this is taking times and yes my parents are home it's only 7.35 wake up at 6 This is taking forever, or is it? Because I have to install driver on a rather broken computer. I need to raise the screen, by the way. Because, okay, okay, um, yeah. Connecting it to the TV wasn't such a good idea, because, but that's the only way, because I don't have any uh, auto HDMI um, to my monitor. And we only have two TVs that connect to HDMI. The first one is a 65 inch, this is 40 inch. And 40 inch looks better on TV. On the, uh, the yeah. Yes, I just put um, 7 home freemium uh, 64 bit version. And for some reason, the 
activation is only for three days. I have no idea why, but and with that say we get the internet to work. That's the only thing we need. Um, we don't think we need the driver for the screen, but we'll download it and try it. But first, it's installing. So we have to install um other very important software after the wireless. So for now, I'm still gonna keep this inside because I'm I'm upgrading to Windows 10 anyway. I'm still need to install some of the browser and some of the certain program that actually um useful. And would you able to? Uh, this is a TV, but but I tried to. But the Wi-Fi here is getting working, so the Wi-Fi driver works. That's a good sign so far. So I might customize this thing to make it mine because it's my brother and hmm, it wasn't successfully installed, but. Okay, let's restart. And I think the sound driver just stopped working. I have no idea why. The sound driver just stopped working. I don't know why. Yeah, but yeah, this screen, this uh, native resolution is not reliable at all. You see that? When that's ready, I will try to get a um, driver to work and then I will upgrade to Windows um, 10. And other that, Windows 11. But that's for the next video because we only have to leak build of the 11, but not the 10. So. We need to do the desktop and sound actually come back on this one. Uh, connection available, which is a good sign because I want to connect to the Wi-Fi there. Okay, good. So far, so good. Let's connect it and let's type in the security code. This video will be pa temporarily paused for that reason. Okay, I have it connected my Wi-Fi. It is doesn't seem to have internet access for now, but there we go. Now one thing I really dislike about the browser is we ha it has Internet Explorer which, in which I heard is no longer supported. But we are not using Internet Explorer. Let me try our own browser. We are not downloading Chrome. For many people that use Internet, um, this is the best, this is, uh, the best um, thing that came out on the um, um, no, we don't need help. I just don't know why. Uh, this right here is a Vietnamese um, type of a Vietnamese um, browser, web browser, you mean. Can you download it? No. It doesn't seem to download, but okay, run. Yes. Let's see. Do does this thing came with any driver? Does the Okay, let's go. For this uh, particular test, I only going to install the say um, display um, Optimus.
so for so far Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi driver is fine here we have free division which I think is for the error screen um, let me try to fix the screen resolution real quick now as you can see there's four options I will choose the uh... okay let's apply Yes, this is a uh, new problem, guys. Now it is switching by to 804 by 600 for no reason. I have no idea why, but this is weird. Okay, we got the uh, Vietnamese browser up and running. This particular machine is kind of laggy, but let's see. Um, um, drivers, this driver right here. And after Windows 7 has done installing the driver, I will install Windows 10. We only need a the internet is fine. We get an internet to work, and now we need uh, the graphics driver. Um, let's see. Um, we have the official Intel HD graphic um, 3000. We got internet. Uh, we have audio. We got audio working. Uh, system and chipset driver. We don't. Well, I don't think we need that. Camera and webcam. We need with the webcam for later or bring soon because I want to try the webcam again. Hmm. What's the ZF file? Is this this one? Um. Run. Run. Oh, this is in Chinese. Well, yeah. This is a uh, this is my home network, by the way. Oh no! Oh, so you had to extract all of them first. Oh well, but let's extract it. Two hundred eighty-four megabytes. Yeah, this is not going to be good. But anyway, let's try um, YouTube to see if... <sighs> On this native resolution, this is not good for YouTube at all. 25 second meaning. meaning. I only need the uh, Intel graphics uh, driver for this thing because because this is the only this is the HD um this only have HD Intel HD um drive graphics card not the NVDA. Okay, we got it. We got that. Extract it. Now, what file should we open? Hmm. This one. Install HD graphic. I will look up online to see the result and 
will come back later. Oh boy, I think it's my own work. The driver's own work or this thing. Yesterday I made, managed to get um, the full HD 9, 19 compared to 1080 uh, on this thing, but it just revert back to 800 to 600. Anyway, um, okay, so the second round restart. Don't worry, I will try the new banner and better wallpaper for this PC because, yeah, this is not a design wallpaper for the OS itself. How embarrassing for the people who own this type of machines. Not really, but it's starting windows now. And once the driver work, I will see um, the thing is actually fully functional. Got it, I think. But it's kind of crap. I have to fix the TV so that it could match the resolution. Got it. Now let's change the screen resolution to fit on the this screen of this 1084. Oh. So the HD only made it to 1024 to 768, not the full screen. Which is, I would say, kind of disappointing, but this is a HD and this is a. Um, so. Uh, duplicate um, not in standing the highest you can go is 10 8, 24 I know idea why but yeah at least the thing will work so let me reinstall something really edgy so the driver actually work on this thing, so I seen some wallpaper on this thing and install Windows 10. But first, let me show you my YouTube channel real quick. There you go guys, it's my YouTube channel on a very um, nearly unusable computer. So let's search for wallpaper. Alright guys, driver out there just found 26 items that need to be um, um, reinstalled. Driver, look for yourself and fast forward. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, but we also have my USB plug because I need to open some of the wallpaper. Let's move it to the desktop. Um, let's put it on. looks pretty really good for this PC right here too bad I cannot change the resolution higher but I think we can set the wallpaper to something better uh, desktop background I haven't used a uh, fail um, let's see how stretch look like 
Hmm, it's kind of fine though. Okay, by the way, let's update and apply. Oh. You need the product key. So, this is weird, but yeah, this is what I have to do. Alright, guys, so updating driver for using that isn't going to work that great since it's not free. So, what I want you to do is pop this Windows 10 disk in and we operate from that. So, hopefully, this beautiful wallpaper won't be replaced with uh, crappy and Windows 10 wallpaper and I should copy the wallpaper so it is safe to pull this USB out it's a Kingston okay no idea what just happened Okay, okay, get it. Yes, force restart this PC for no reason. This computer has been in my family for like eight years, so I so this is expected from a computer this old. We'll, just, we'll see you again when we come back to this PC after this. I think it's rebooting to the same mode. No idea why. Or not. This is normal. Uh, by the way, yes, the move from the. Um, do the um, first to see it. are we able to yeah we can able, we are able to do It's kind of acting crazy. Okay. So with arrows, with arrow display this is what it look like for now really beautiful but I can freaking up try to but too bad I'm gonna install Windows 10 on this yes I think we may made it because uh, arrows because I want to do the arrow, Windows arrow is working on this thing but I want to get some more work but uh, oh well I might as well already we just tend to do that and no this is not the uh, final destination of this video yet for Windows 10 I will try to use Windows 11 on this and we'll see what will happen okay okay good so far so good in case you don't know, here's the spec of the computer why that is loading. 
it is 4 gigs of RAM, Intel Core i3 and I would have downloaded um, CPU um, ID but no I just want to upgrade to Windows 10 before I can do that so for now this is why we are going to stay okay this is getting better we'll finally reach we will finally make this computer back to working order again. Might try Windows 11 on this one, but oh well, it's just Windows 10 is fine. Also, it's like half past eight, and I want to get this done by a few hours later. All right, let's go. It is restarting. I think Okay, restarting Do you have a right? Okay, let's press yes. Okay, second round restart. It's going for a while. Is getting updated. That's all for the best. Well, this is this word being. And oh, this is new. Yeah. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, unfortunately, um, that Windows installation just didn't work with this one. It just crashed. It the reason is it shows the Zep OS thing. With so what I did is I have a driver update. This is free, so it should work. Also came with is uh, Unity in in case that I need some Vietnamese um typing on this thing. TV should be on. And yes, I did unplug the, I did um, eject the this out, but I'm not letting it stay because I want to make sure that it wouldn't shut this computer down during installation. For the fan. Now let's put her up. But first, make sure that it is in this mode. Look at the LCD just die again. What the hell is putting you up to? Oh, no, no, yeah. What just happened? It's blow like Vista. Yes, this computer has been in my family for like 8 years, so that is expected. But, hmm, no signal. I wonder what's this thing up to. Oh boy, this is getting better. The sound does work.
Okay, good. This is how 1080, 1922 slash. This is how full hard disk should look like. So, first of all, let's install the driver. Now, wait. What just happened? It just shut off for no reason. Probably do overheat or something. I don't know. I seriously don't know what's wrong with this thing. I think this one had a bad it already shut down during everything. So I guess it might be belong to the trash. I would take a hard drive out and to put it sticking on the computer to see if that ever works. And again forcing me to um, change the white session. To every pixel. So first of all, I will install um, Unikey, which is a necessity in. Oh. Now this is new. Did not expect that. This is snappy driver install, so accept. Now I don't know really what's going on with this thing. I think it's uh, just shut off. I don't know why. Will something ever happen? Yeah, the 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 it, it, the PC isn't hot as much. No, no, no. There we go. Now it's stuck on this screen forever. Black screen of death. I want to make sure that this thing won't break down. And the damn thing is shut off again. Something will happen anyway. Does this, this does seem to be loading? I don't know what caused it, but it just shut up. Why do no reason?
I should mention that the keyboard on this one is kind of messed up. So it should shut that sometime, shut itself down. Okay, accept. What's on during this time when it suddenly shut all of them down? Yeah. No idea what's going on with this PC, I think. And now the thing works again. See the Kinda of laggy than usual. It's kinda of laggy for this PC because So, yeah, I think um, it isn't reliable on browsing YouTube on Windows 7, but I will upgrade to Windows um, 10 after I'm done with this thing. It took like 3 hours, so. So for now, let me um. This is quite big for sixteen. So now, what we to do is popping the Windows Ten disk and make it run. This is apparently the third time in a row I have to reinstall, upgrade from Windows Seven to Windows Ten because the battery keep um for. Keep um, restarting the computer. Yeah, that will be keep everything, including the browser and Unity will be keep. I'm not running CPU ID. I just want to wait for a while. And after that, I will install some of the other driver like the webcams. That will be useful because this one has the webcam. I haven't tried that in a while. And while well, that is installing, let me and let's hope for the best to come from this PC. All right, guys. After like three days of working, I finally get this eight years old PC computer laptop to work again. It's running Windows 10. It's not the latest version unfortunately but at least it's way better than it should I have everything set up so that it matches my brother's PC and when you go to properties it is uh, 2006 Windows 10 Pro and this is activated yes and I did install this program right here which is running right now there you can see how my Processor in my specs inside. It had four 
you have five gigs of hard drive. Everything is activated and it is with and running again. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later with better video when in later on. So thank you guys for watching.